Hello, good afternoon. I am Lutra FM and welcome back to my Rafe Rover Say. Thank you to everyone who continuously watches continues to watch the episodes. Much appreciated. And thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because it does go a long way. I know people get fed up of YouTubers asking people to subscribe, but it does mean a lot to us. So no, thank you. Um right, so where we left off last, um Funny thing to tell you first, Emerald Craft come back from injury and then literally I clicked on a couple more inbox items and he gets injured again for two or three weeks. I'm struggling to get rid of that uh, that man. I can't just release him because the board won't let me because his wages are too high. Anyway, we did get rid of Matt Ritchie and Connor Wickham because both of them were complaining about lack of first team football and I just felt like they weren't going to play much. So I have got rid of them. Um, we're still seven grand over the wage budget though which is annoying actually because we were like three grand minus three grand before we released them players so god knows what's happened there but we'll just keep trying keep trying to get that wage budget aligned like i said it would make a big difference if we could put some of that transfer budget into the wage budget but for some reason it won't let us and it's that's never happened before so i don't know why it's doing it now Right then, hopefully Lopez is back in the team because he's been really good for us. Yes, he is good. So we've got Ruse in goal, um, Faye is right back, Nowalski and Warner in centre defence. Warner's back, so that's good. Aliaski is left back, Fleck and Ball in midfield, Lopez is back on the right, Deli Ali in the middle, Kinder on the left, and Hoyland up front. And we're playing Aberdeen, who we did beat um, when we played them before. But it doesn't necessarily mean we'll beat him again. Right, first highlight goes to us, I think. Kinder. Yes, get in. Good start. Deli Ali to Lopez. They love linking up them too. They play they play very well together. Great start to the episode. That's what we like to see. Play with the throwing. Deli Ali, Lopez, the ball, Deli Ali, oh, a bit too ambitious there, mate. Yeah, offside as well. Right, free kick to them. Good save by the goalie, I think. Oh no, just went over him. Right, goal kick to them. Oh, okay. Oh, they got bloody Solskjaer's lad in there. Oh, no, they haven't. Solka. <laughs> I thought they had Noah Solskjaer in their team, then. Oh, that was a terrible pass by Fleck. Oh, that was... That was... No, that was not on. Fleck, you bloody wally. Right, thrown to us. Let's see if we can get the lead back. Let, come on, you need to make up for this defensive mistake you made. Good, good, good. That's what we want to see. Well done, Fleck. Good goal by Kinder. 2-1 to us. Get in. Doing well, we're doing well. We're 11 points clear at this point, even though Dufferm's got a game in hands. If we win this game, Fleck. <sighs> Nearly. Right, corner to us. Fleck with the corner. Floats it up. Headed out. End of highlight. Right, another corner. Fleck. Headed out again, but Lopez gets it, passes it to Kinder. Kinder gets past the players. Nearly sets up Deli Ali. Fleck with another corner. Headed out again. Oh, come on, Kinder, that was a bit ambitious. A bit greedy by you, Kinder. Right, 2-0 though, or 2-1, sorry, we'll take that so far. Let's try and ask for a bit more there. Right, 
Right, corner by Fleck again. Good goal, good little setup by Fleck. He's more than redeemed himself for that pass mistake. Hoyland now. How many goals has he got? Uh, 13. Or did he score the other one? Yeah, 13 goals for the season. Got quite a strong first team now, which is good. I think we need to improve the fullbacks in the summer, though. Um, we need to somehow try and keep Warner or buy him if possible. Who else have we got? Or oh, Nowowski. We need to try and sign either Nowowski or Warner in the summer, or both. I don't think we're able to afford both, though. I think every position near enough can be improved. Obviously, we're not going to be able to keep half these loan, if not all of these loan players, so they need to be replaced. Right, we're still free one up. Can we get another one? I want, I want Delhi Ali to get a goal. Come on, Delhi. Right, Aberdeen on the break. If they score this, it's going to make an interesting rest of the game. Is uh, Clarkson any good? Or scouting? Headed out. Devlin, is he any good? We'll scout you. If Aberdeen don't get promoted, we might be able to get some bargains from Aberdeen. Right, can we keep this lead? Yep, we're pretty much done now. Game over, we win, 3-1. Well done, lads. Good, good, good. It's a good way to start the episode. Uh, let's have a quick look at the league table. I think we're 11 points clear, aren't we? Yeah, 11 points clear. They've got... Um, oh, we've got a game in hand over them, actually. That's good. Right, we've got Queen's Park next. Just get through these days as quickly as possible. Had a few offers for Kraft. That's a decent offer. They're pretty good offers. I bet he goes to this offer, though. Actually, in fact, I'm going to turn this offer down. Uh, that's a bit greedy. I'm going to negotiate that down. Probably not, because I know what they're on. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll take that. Fine. We'll still make 500k off the deal. Yep, okay, we need a new captain. So, Lewis Vaughan, backing as captain. I don't know why he wasn't captain in the first place, but yeah. Captain Fantastic, Mr. Ray Rovers, is now the new captain again. I assume they thought Matt Ritchie was probably a better choice. Not nothing in the meeting worth looking at. Got Queen's Park in the third round of the Trust Trophy next. A fourth round, sorry. I'm going to rotate some players for this game. Not too bothered about um, these trophies, unless it's obviously the, the Scottish Cup. We are concentrating on the Scottish Cup this year. But yeah, the other cups I'm not that bothered about. Kraft back from his injury. Hopefully we can get rid of him. Oh, these are some good players here. Let's just add these to the shortlist. Maybe that's what I've got to look to do in the future is, is sign up and come in players from the French leagues and things like that. Uh, Jordan Hugel? Nah. Right then. We do this and then we'll rotate. There we go. Four rotations. So Vaughan's up front. Uh, Barden in goal. Kraft is right back. O'Connell and Dyche in centre defence with Yeo Paulo as left back. Ball is retaining his position in midfield with Zulaga, probably because of the lack of options in that position. Fabino on the right, Arnett is uh, in the 
Deli Alley roll, Muscovy on the left, and Vaughan up front. We might even... Have we got any young players coming through? Andrew Stewart, maybe? Adam Mason, maybe? Or Masson? I assume it's Mason and not Masson. Hold on, let's have a quick look. Uh, Logan Ross, I think, is one of them. I know he he isn't he's, he is a young player actually, um, and then is it him? Yeah, so he's one of our talented youth prospects. So he might he I know he won't he won't play because he's knackered. I don't know why we've got two players on the subs bench that are not good enough to be playing at the moment because they're knackered. They'll only come on in an emergency. Right, nothing happening so far. Is it going to be another one of these games where nothing happens the whole game? Oh, no. Right, Lewis Warren with the corner. Floats it up. Nearly. Arnett with an impressive debut goal. Good little prospect for the future. I can see why a lot of clubs are after him in the summer window. Oh, he's knackered though. He's knackered already. I think that goal celebration injured him. Right, we've got a throw in. Kraft. The ball to Zulaga. Yayo Paulo. To Musqui. Ball. Ball oh, nearly. Right, Vaughan. Good save by the goalkeeper. Right, let's see how we can do. Let's see if we can improve on our lead in the second half. Phillips had to come on for Arnott, unfortunately, because Arnott was knackered. Savino with the corner. Right, we've got another free kick. Vaughan. Mr. Rafe Rovers. Oh, beautiful little pass that was, and lucky. Right, Daishi's injured. Well, not injured, but knackered. Put Romero, uh, Martinez on. Right, we can't make any more subs, so we've just got to get on with it now. Hope for the best. Masson on the pitch now. Bit of a quiet game this one, isn't it? Not much is happening. Yeah, yeah Paulo. Good cross. Ah, unfortunate. We're giving Queen's Park every chance to get back in this game. Not very likely though, because they haven't had a shot on target yet. Oh, there you go. Lewis Vaughan with a free kick right inside the box. Is he going to use a bit of finesse here? Oh, he passes it. There's a 1-2. Didn't go in there. Right, 1-0. That's alright then. Right then, we'll be, uh, we'll be back for the next part of the episode in a minute. So we're back for the next part of the episode. And uh, this is our lineup against um, Greenwich Morton. Ruse in goal. Bay back in the team as right back. No. Rocky and Warner in the centre defence with Alioski. So a very familiar back line. Um, Ball and Fleck in midfield, they played most games together in midfield. Lopez on the right, Deli Alley in the middle, Vaughan on the left, and Hoyland up front. Probably our strongest team. But yeah, as always, thanks everyone for their support, much appreciated. I hope you are enjoying it. Please leave comments if possible, 
uh, any advice or about the videos and that or just what you what you think about the videos good or bad just let me know feedback is always much appreciated because it makes me a better content creator so yeah if you haven't already left a comment please leave something if possible if you want no worries if you don't but would would be nice right Deli Ali loses the ball hits a brick wall that is called Valentine by the looks of it right, get it back though Faye Deli Ali with a beautiful pass to Hoyland for that trickles it in with a bit of finesse I think Hoyland's probably got a good chance of being the, the Scottish Championship Championships top goal scorer by the end of the season, I reckon. He's got 14 goals already. Um, actually, saying that though, only seven in the, how many in the league? Five in the league. So uh, a lot of his goals come in the in that in the League Cup game. But he's still doing well overall for us. Pass it back to Ruse. Ruse with a beautiful ball. Oh no, I thought I was going to go straight to Lopez, but it didn't. Ah, we get it back though. Faye, such a brilliant right back for this level. Black over the top ball to Lopez. Lopez with the first time cross. Beautiful Hoyland. Hoyland with his seventh league game of the season. Seventh league goal of the season, sorry. Right, Rocky with the ball. I really want to sign Warner or Rocky in the summer if we get promoted. I don't know how much money we're going to be given though. That's the thing. We've got to do well in the Scottish Cup. We've got to, you get you get quite a bit of money in the Scottish Cup because of this um, editor file I've got. So the better we do, the more money we get. Which means we can improve facilities, expand the stadium, maybe get a new stadium, get better players, improve coaching, improve the staff. So it all it all makes a difference. Ooh. What I want to do is I want to try and get Rafe Rovers to win the Scottish Premiership and also the Champions League, hopefully. Depend on how many seasons we do it. If we uh if we win the Scottish Premiership within the first couple of seasons, and then we'll concentrate on trying to at least have four or five seasons of trying to win the Champions League, or at least try and do as best as we can. Oh, that would have been a great goal then. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We've got to get into the Scottish Premiership and then stay in it first. I mean, we're doing well this season, but then we've got to hope that we do well in the Scottish Premiership. We've got to hope that the players will be good enough for that. And we've just got to hope that we can improve what we've already got. Good. There we go. Well done, Lopez. Go on. Drive forward. There we go. Go on, Vaughan. Mr. Rafe Rovers galloping across. Oh, have we got a penalty? I think we have. Uh, a bit of a dodgy decision, though, by the looks of it. But, yeah, we'll take it. Vaughan. Good. Well done, Vaughan. Mr. Rafe Rovers. 3-0 up. Cruising to a victory again. I think it's amazing that we've only lost one proper game this season. Then again, we haven't really come across any big teams in the Scottish Premiership in the Cup games. I think we'll come and stuff if we do. I hope we do get to play Celtic or Rangers in a Cup game. Because it'll be a good test for us to see how, we, how good we are. Ooh. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, right. Any good professional would have edited it out, but I think I think you need to see everything. Warts and all, as they say. Yawns and all. Right, 
Free now. Good, 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 good. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, good, good, good. That's what we like to see. Free now win. Good, good result for us. Okay, that's good. So we're now 13 points ahead in the league. Yeah, we'll praise you. Doing well. I'm not offering a new contract. Yeah, that's good. Great turnaround for Lopez, because at one point I was trying to get rid of him on a free transfer. I'm so glad that didn't happen. Right, we'll be back for the next part of the episode in a minute. And we're back for the next part of the episode. And um, we're just going to go through the inbox. Sorry, I went a bit too far there. So Emil Kraft has gone. He's gone to Albacete. Al Al so we've got rid of him off our wage. He'll be leaving in January. So we've still got him for now. Um, let's see what else is here. Daniel Maldini. Shall we sign him? I think he might be an improvement on like Musqui and things like that. Yep, we'll sign him. Um, we just got ourselves back out of the SHIT and then we're going to put ourselves back in it. Uh, he's a good player in the making, I think. Very expensive though. So we've offered Lopez a new contract. We're just waiting to see if the work permit will let us have him. Hopefully it will. Uh, Dylan Call seems to be collecting some positive influences. So that's good. Hoyland wins the Championship Player of the Month. Um, and he also gets the Young Player of the Month. I get the Manager of the Month, yeah. Yep, Lopez has had his work permit uh, agree, uh, accepted, so he signs a new contract. He's been brilliant since he's... Uh, we need to take him off the loan list, though. Let's have a look, see what his squad status is. I think, yeah, star player. Yeah, that's all right. He is a star player for us. We all seem to do well with... South American wingers in this Rover Rover save. Even when we were doing really bad last uh, last season, we still had some good players in Averal, Everaldo and Carrero. Right, what are you worried about? Well, it's there that players worry about. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. All right, we'll have to get rid of Alioski, which is not good because he's a key player for us. But what can we do? His work permit's not going to get accepted, so there's no point keeping him. Right there, uh, so we've got Ruse in goal, Fayez right back, Rocky and Warner in defence with Alioski, Ball and Fleck in midfield, Lopez on the right, Dehander's back in the team. Kinder on the left and Hoyland up front. Let's see how we get on against Inverness. I've been to Inverness, very nice place. They have a very good or you can eat Chinese buffet there called Jimmy Jimmy Chung's. I don't know if it's still there. I think Jimmy Chung's is a chain. I think every I think literally most cities in the UK have got a Jimmy Chung's, but first time I ever went to one, I really enjoyed it when I was there many, many years ago. I stayed at Fort Augustus, which is in between Inverness and Fort William, for people who don't know. Nice little village, beautiful scenery there. Oh, good goal, Kinder. I remember the, my trip there because I bought um, a few WWE DVDs, including the Ultimate Collection Ric Flair DVD, which was really good. Oh, nearly. Um, I also bought the Rise and Fall of ECW as well, which is an amazing DVD as well. I 
I think I watched the Rise and Fall of ECW DVD about a million times. The documentary alone is worth watching, it's very good. Yeah, 1-0 up so far. Kinder is knackered, which is a shame because he's playing well. Vaughan is on though, Mr. Mr. Rafe Rovers is on. Oh, there you go, Collins Faye is strutting his stuff, that's what we like to see. We like to see a bit of swagger there, Mr. Faye. Hoyland, you're not playing well, we follow you up. Demand more by Hoyland, hopefully that'll work. Well, it seems to have had a bad effect on him. Right, Faye with the throw in. Let's see if Hoyland can get a goal and get his confidence back. Rocky. Faye, back to Rocky. Across to Warner. Warner now. Across to uh, Alioski. Alioski with a beautiful pass to Bourne. That was a bit of a dodgy goal that was, wasn't it? Yeah, own goal. We'll take it though. We'll take it. Uh, we'll take Hoyland off, I think. Actually, no, we'll leave it. Wait, see what happens with this highlight. You never know, he might score. Lopez on the right to Faye. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to take... Oh, no. Let's see what this corner does first. I don't think he's one for headers, Hoyland, but you never know. It's the end of that highlight, okay. So, who do we put on? We'll put, we'll put Deli Alley on. He's not an out and out striker, but he can play there. Right, let's just see this game up now. We'll end up being 13 points clear with a game in hand. So we're doing very well at the moment. Right, that's a good little victory. Um, yeah, we'll accept them. Kinder's injured. Yeah, we'll accept them as well. Right, we'll try and get through this as quick as possible, and then we'll play one more game for this episode. Probably Alioski will be gone by that point. There are more offers. Everybody's after Alioski. It's just a shame we can't keep him. Celtic beat Rangers 1-0 in there. Oh, what's up now? Oh, no. Now Faye, now Faye's work permit's going to... Oh, no. Oh. Gotta get rid of Faye now as well. So we've got to replace our bloody fullbacks. Nobody wants Faye as well, so we're gonna oh we might oh we will. We won't get much for him, but Oh I'm I'm gutted about that. Faye's Okay, Fabino wants more games. I thought that was another work permit issue then. Fabino, you might have to be trained to be a Yeah, you're gonna have to be trained to be a right back, I think. Let me just check first with the tactics. So wing back attack. So we'll go wing back attack. Yep. Okay, and then we'll go defensive movement, defensive positioning. There we go. So we are training out of necessity. Sorry, I can't play enough. We're training Fabinho. He wants game time, he'll get game time. Uh, Fabino's game would improve if you start cutting inside from wide positions. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Uh, it's time to recognise Fabino as a regular start to provide balance in the squad. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yep. Nothing worth telling me about there. Yep, okay. Yep, that's fine. Okay, he's improved. That's good. Okay. Okay, right, that's that. Fabino's, that's typical, isn't it? 
Fabinho moans about games on and then gets injured. He's only out for a couple of days. He'll be back by the time this game starts. <laughs> oh, missed out the players here. Five of our players were selected in the Championship Team of the Week. So we had Ruse, Rocky, Alioski, Faye and Fleck. I'm so sad about losing Faye. I was sad enough as it was losing um, Alioski. Oh God, does that mean we're going to have Gail Clichy as our starting left back for the, for the next six months? Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to need to get a left back in. We're going to have to look at the free transfer market as well. Still got more offers in for Elioski. Very well, very well. Um, what's the word? Lot, lots of clubs after him, basically. Oh, clicked on the wrong thing. What I'll do um, before the next episode after this game um, offline, I'll have a little look at the free transfer market and see if there's anybody we can bring in to replace Faye and Elioski. Because we're going to be very light in the fullbacks positions. I don't know if we've got. I know we've got Cliche on the left. But I don't think we've. Been, I don't think we've got any right backs or left backs. Right. So let's have a look. We might have to promote from the youth team. So we've got. I mean, Dice you can play there, but he's not really. A, yeah. So we've only got Cliche basically. And then right right backs, we've got. I suppose Dominic Paul can play there. He's already going craft, so he can't. He's going as well. They're all basically going. I suppose we could play Mason. Is Mason a fullback? No, he's more of a centre defender. So we definitely need to bring in some fullbacks. And we're slightly over our budget, wage budget as well. But that will change because obviously we're getting rid of Faye and Alioski. So that will free up some of the wages. Let's just see if we can get a. Yep, hopefully we can get a senior affiliate, even if it's for six months, just to bring in, in some money. As soon as we get promoted, the senior affiliate thing will go, unless it's um, a team outside Scottish Premiership. Maybe we can get an English team. Wishful thinking, I know. Right, last game of the episode, Partick Thistle. Let's see. So we've got, yep, pretty much unchanged team. Might be the last game that you see Alioski and Faye here, so... Um, fans will be very sad. Uh, yeah, pretty much straightforward team here. Let's just see how we get on. Hopefully we do well. Okay. Oh, so it's going to be so sad to see him go now. Oh, why'd you have to leave us, Faye? You're so good. You're way better than you should be. Look at that, another goal. Hoyland. S steaming past these now. Maybe I'll have to train Lewis Vaughan up as, a, as an emergency right back at this rate. Deli Ali might have to play left back. No, we, we won't go to that extreme. We just have to, we might have to just change the tactic and, and not have any fullbacks and we just have to have three centre defenders. And then have wingers pushing up. Just got to do what we've got to do with what we've got. We're not made of money. Deli Ali with the miss pass there. Come on, that's it, Faye. Beautiful, beautiful man. There we go. I'm, oh, I'm, 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 every, every time he does something really well, I get more and more sad that he's going. Same with Adioski as well. He's been really good. Very stable fullback pairing. Hit the bar. Ball. Loses it. Ball loses the ball. But a bunch. So uh, 2 0 up after um, after four minutes played. We scored two goals. We've started this game really well. We've been doing. Oh, look at that. That was a beautiful pass. Lopez. Oh, 
ملخی I don't really want to get, go to the low market to get fullbacks because it just means next season we're going to have to improve even more positions because we've got we've got two centre defenders that are on loan with us and um, Hoyland up front as well. So we're going to have to improve defence massively. Deli Alley though, well done. Uh, let's have a quick look. Deli Alley with his fourth goal this season. But yeah. We're going to have to improve massively. I don't really like loaning in players because you're not making any money on them players that you're loaning. You're just helping other clubs out. I'd rather just buy players, but it's having the money to do so. And the player, certain players won't be able to won't be able to sign. God, look at that Lopez. Go on. Fifth goal of the season for him. He's been amazing. He has. Him and Faye's probably been our best two players of the season. So for Owen Hoyland. Actually, to be honest, everybody's been playing well on this team. That's why I'm gutted that we're going to have to lose two of the key players. Anyway, 4 0 up at half time. We're 13 points still ahead. Aberdeen starting to rise up the league. They were about here before. Now they're third, so that's good. Well done. Right, we're in possession. Vaughan. Vaughan, do you fancy um, playing as fullback? No. Okay, fair enough. I don't want to upset Mr. Ray Rovers. Beautiful ball there. Hoyland across to Faye. Faye with the cross. Oh, what a what a cross, what a header. Hoyland with his 17th goal of the season. How many assists has Faye got now? He's got like seven assists for the season. Oh my god. And how many does Alioski have? Oh, we'll have a look in a minute. I don't know. We'll have a look now. Alioski. He scores goals. He doesn't really do assists. Alright, see what happens from this. I don't know. <laughs> Paul, I don't know why you needed to do that, but okay. Uh, okay, Lopez. Lopez. Should we call him Elo? Because you got J-Lo, ain't you? Should we call it Elo? I think we're going to start calling him Elo. Elo, Elo, give us a wave. Right, Fleck. Maybe we could train Fleck as an emergency fullback, I suppose. He'd be more susceptible to it, I think. Can he play there already? No, he can't. We could play him there. We could have him as... We could try... Actually, in fact, I'm going to do it now. Uh, training. We just have him as left back, wing back, defend. Yep. Then we'll do. Where is it? Defensive positioning. Where are you? There we go. We just got to make do with what we've got. Right. Part it Fistle not giving up, even though they're 5 0 down. Fair play. Oh, we're giving them a penalty. It would have been nice to have the clean sheet, but oh well. Hamilton might score against his former club. Hopefully not. Ah, he does. Doing well, then, he, Hamilton. Let's see how many goals he's got now. He's had 17 goals for the season. I'll give him a scout report. I don't think he's good enough to bring back. But he's doing well there. Fair play to him. But yeah, we're still, we're still top. 13 points clear. We're still winning. We just need to see this game out now. Elo to Rocky. I think we're just doing a bit of time wasting here seeing this game out. Lopez, Elo. Fleck. Elo. Hoyland. Beautiful ball to Vaughan. Vaughan sees the space. Good goal by Mr. Rafe Rose. 10th goal of the season for him. Hoyland's been amazing this game. He scored... Has he scored two... No, he scored, yeah, he scored two goals. And got an assist. Fair play to him. Lewis Vaughan. Man of, man of the match though, I think, by the looks of it. Scored 
scored a goal and got two assists. You get more of a you get a better average rating if you get assists more than goals for some reason. But yeah, right. Let's just quickly do this before we go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, right then. We're gonna call it a day. So we're gonna when we come back, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do about the fullback positions. So yeah, so that's something to look forward to. Um, thanks to everybody for your support and much appreciated and enjoy the rest of your day. All the best. Bye.